So, it looks like John Sullivan, John Earl Sullivan, was actually charged. Three different charges. Um, as far as whether he was released or not, uh, we know his background, part of the BLM protest. Still a troublemaker. Uh, John's apparently part of an organization called Insurgents USA. He is a leftist extremist and definitely an instigator of what happened on January 6th. An example of socialism. His booking number is 106616. Hmm. That's kind of strange. Say uh, the violent threats had rippled through the far right of the internet forums, but here's an example of somebody on the far left that was saying about, burn it down, burn it down. John Earl that. Sullivan. Chan right here when they were in the Capitol. But yet, somehow this fool got released, but he's up on charges. This is when he uh, got arrested at the Hamilton Hotel. Uh, that's another situation. Anyway, an individual like John Sullivan... The events of January 6, 2021, he is a antagonizer. He's a person who is against the right's values. Is an example of somebody who infiltrated the right in a protest of conservatives to support Trump. And basically, uh, he seems like part of a much bigger plan. He's got some federal charges here. Uh, misdemeanor, uh, violation of entry and disorderly conduct. I believe that one is a misdemeanor. Could be felony. But I'm restricted sure. grounds. Uh, typically, that would be a federal charge. Any one of these could be federal charges. So can't really say at the moment. It does say uh, the District of Columbia, USC uh, 752A. And up at the top, civil disorders, 18 USC uh, 231A. Three, what two. Take some screenshots if you need to. But uh, you would think this fool would have no bond whatsoever. Uh, here's the affidavit. You can go ahead and take a screenshot of that and check it out if you want. There it is. But, it, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty, pretty bizarre. bizarre. John Earl Sullivan. Everybody know about this dude. Like, share, and get it out there.